Hi everybody. Uh, in this video we're going to do a quick discussion of congruence and isometry. Uh, most of you probably understand this already but we're going to be getting into a couple of topics in the next video that I just want to make sure we're all on the same page with these terms. So what is uh, congruence and what is our, our is isometries? Congruence is the following. If two, sha two shapes are congruent if they are exactly the same shape and size. The shapes could be placed on top of each other and look like one shape. And they can still be considered congruent even if you have to move or rotate one of them to lay them on top of each other and check. So let's look at some examples. Here are two triangles. And when you slide one over and place it on top of the other, you can see that they're the same shape and size. So that is congruent. That's an example of congruent triangles. Here are two other triangles. And if we move them and rotate one of them, you can see that they too are congruent. So that um, they also match the, the de definition of congruence. Here are two rectangles. And if you slide them over, even if you were to um, rotate the red uh, rectangle, which looks almost like a square, no matter what you did, it would not lay on top of the original image in such a way that it would look like the same shape. So it's not congruent. Now that you understand congruency, let's talk about isometry. Isometry is any transformation where the shape and size of the pre-image does not change. Only the location or orientation of both or both of the image is different. So any transformation where the pre-image and the image are congruent. Let's look at some examples. Here's a triangle and here's a point and we're going to rotate that triangle around the point. This is exactly the same shape, just in a different orientation and location. That, so a, ref, a, a rotation is an isometry. Here's a reflection across the y-axis. You can see that the pre-image and the image are exactly the same shape and size, but uh, just in a different location. So that also is an isometry. Here's a translation where we have a hexagon and we're asked to translate it across a vector v, which means that we're going to move it in the direction of that vector and the exact same distance of that, the same length of that vector. So if we do that, the red image um, moves, but it's the same shape. We've simply just moved it, and therefore it is also an isometry. So reflections, rotations, and translations are isometries. But here is a triangle and the transformation that's done to it is a dilation or a stretch. Okay, it's stretched and then it's translated to the right. So the shape has changed. It's true that the location changed and that would have been fine, but as soon as the shape changed or the size changed, it's no longer an isometry. That's really all there is to congruence and isometries as far as we're concerned with transformations. So we're going to return to our discussion of transformations in the next video.